So for week two, I'm going to review in two separate uh, video tutorials here the final exam instructions. Final exam's a long way off, but I want to go ahead and, and talk about um, what that exam is going to ask you to do since it ties in with this week's work. The second video will be about the functions that those instructions list and um, a little bit about what those functions of myths are. So I have up here the final exam instructions and you're being charged to write a formal essay in which you will determine both the function and the truth or value that a particular myth holds for its culture. So you'll pick your own uh, uh, myth that you like either from uh, the book or uh, from elsewhere and you're going to do two things. Primarily you're going to talk about the function it may have served, the people who um, developed that myth, people who believed in this myth, and a secondary function of this exam is to talk about the truth or the value that it served for the people who believed in it. Right? Doesn't matter whether you believe it or not, that's not what we're talking about, if, if the myth is true or not, but what sort of truth or value did the culture who believed in it, uh, what did they take away from the myth when they heard it? So um, you're going to and that I use here as our, our myth, Demeter and Persephone. We'll be using that a good bit this week. Um, and this is the only myth you shouldn't choose for, for your essay since I'm already reviewing it. So how does the Demeter-Persephone myth function? Well, I can go through the various um, choices I have. I'm not sure if I do that here or in a... Uh, no, that's in another, another, uh, another document that we'll look at. Um, so I can go through some of the different myth functions, and here they are in the instructions. We, have dis uh, we will have discussed a variety of theories of how a myth functions in a society, including the natural, etiological, cosmological, psychological, sociological, mystical, and pedagogical functions. So I can go through as I'm working on my myth and sort of read the myth, kind of like you did this first week, you, you practiced sort of speculating about different theories that could be applied to myths. So you can kind of go through all these different functions, apply them to the myth, and see which one seems to work best. So let's say we want to talk about the myth of Demeter and Persephone and how it relates to the natural world. That would be its natural function. Okay. So I could discuss how this myth functions. That's the first thing I'm going to have to do. And we can talk about that natural function, how it has to do with the changing of the seasons. Uh, you know, so this, the natural function explains how things happen in nature. And as for the values the story contains, I can maybe discuss what it, uh, what it might mean in, about the society, um, that what, what do they believe in death or marriage customs of the ancient Greeks. Um, and some of this I might research or some of it I just may know from, from elsewhere already. So that's the value. It, it tells the society how to do something or what to believe. You'll write a non-research paper. So I'm not really looking for research. Um, if you're really not understanding something and need to do a little research, I want you to run that by me first. But we'll talk more about that later. Of at least 500 words and you're going to use examples from the story to support your point. So in the instructions it tells you how to lay it out, your introduction, what should be in the body paragraphs, the idea of the function again, and the idea of the truth. And I also tell you a little bit about the different kinds of truths it could hold. Can the truth be literal? In other words, is it, um, does this myth really record something that happened? Um, was there some kind of earthquake or flood or some kind of um, invasion that this myth actually records? Or is the truth metaphorical? Um, maybe I have here, maybe Persephone was not a real girl who was abducted by Hades, but she represents the fact that death snatches uh, life away at any time. Right? Morals and values could be things like um, how, should, how should we live? Um, how do men and women get along? What's the relationship between mother and daughter? Are there any kind of taboos that we should avoid? Um, what kind of things, after reading this myth, can we understand about the culture and what they value? Do they value money above all else, gold, 
success in war? What is it they value? Or it could be some kind of cautionary tale. In other words, um, for example, most of you know the story of Little Red Riding Hood. That's a cautionary tale. Don't talk to strangers. Don't walk in the woods you know, alone, or this is what will happen. So um, the, the, the myth might tell you what would happen if you don't follow the codes put down in this myth or the taboos that are broken. And finally, you would have a conclusion. So this document is in the, um, the week two folder, and it's also in the major assignments folder where all the materials for this uh, final exam is.